سبيل الله قمنا Not the catchiest of election slogans, in the way of Allah with Hassan Abdullah. That's Dr. Hassan Abdullah Tarabi, the most influential man in Sudan. The whole Islamic world now witnesses a phenomenon of spiritual revival, sometimes also an intellectual renewal of traditional Islamic thought. Of course, new phenomena are always uh, faced with some suspicion. People are the enemies of what they don't know of darkness. Sudan first declared itself an Islamic Republic in the early 80s. Seven years ago, a military coup brought an even more hardline fundamentalist government to power. These are the first elections since then. Dr. Tarabi stood as an ordinary parliamentary delegate in a constituency for the south of Khartoum, the Sudanese capital. Pity the candidate up against Dr. Tarabi, a man who's never held formal office but is considered the spiritual leader of Sudan just as Ayatollah Khomeini was in Iran, the guiding hand behind a religious revolution to create a militant Islamic state. <laughs> Dr. Tarabi believes the call to prayer is a call for political change and that Sudan, the largest country in Africa, is ideally placed to inspire its African and Middle Eastern neighbors. Few outside Sudan share that view. Rather, the country is accused by the West of being the new center of Islamic terrorism, exporting its brand of fundamentalism by force. Hidden in this vast country are said to be military training camps for Muslim extremists from all over the world. Their aim, not just to overthrow their own governments, but to attack other countries they consider the enemy of Islam. Available now on Video On Demand.